Welcome to Alpha Cars and Ural of New England. Today we have a couple very exciting Urals in our showroom. These are both sold bikes and they both have some awesome accessories on them. We do already have a full in-depth video on the terracotta satin we see here. So check that out, it'll be linked in the top right of your screen for you to click on. This video, we're gonna really be focusing on this 2023 Gear Up Incline Blue. We just finished putting some awesome accessories on it. And we're just gonna go over a few of those. And like always, all of these exciting accessories can be found on our e-store. Check out the reviews for them. They have great reviews. And of course, they all get shipped uh, right to your door in a prompt manner. So starting out on this Klein Blue, let's start around the uh, front end here. We have a very nice large plexiglass windshield. We have a specific video uh, just on this. It is a universal fit windshield but we've, we've tested a few of them and this one really fits the Ural like a glove, even with the contours allowing room for the key here. And it does work with the uh, Barkbuster Storm hand guards as well. It has a tight clearance that we've you know, adjusted so they uh, fit properly. But with these additional uh, hand guards here, this of course ensures the most protection pro possible from the wind and elements on your hands. And speaking of protecting your hands and making things comfortable, this bike has heated grips with the five-stage controller here. Also on the handlebars, we have the uh, USB charger. It's a full aluminum housing, has a waterproof cover. It has its own on-off switch. So when the bike is on, uh, you can choose whether to have it powered or not. And of course, it's quick charge 3.0 capable. And I will mention, it is a nice tight fit. Uh, ensuring that port you know, doesn't get moisture in it. And this little part in the center, when the bike is on, you can actually see the voltage reading through there, very helpful. And just next to that, we have our dual cylinder temperature gauge. And we're all used to seeing these mounted on the, usually kind of on the back of the shin guard here, which is still a great location, but this customer wanted it up in kind of his field of view on the handlebar. So we devised a very nice mount for the handlebars to have that there. And in the very near future, we might actually add a kit so you can add on that mount if you want to uh, mount your cylinder temperature gauge up on the handlebars. And like I said, it monitors them individually. We can see this additional lead that gets run where the spark plugs are. And then we have the dual needles, which will kind of climb independently of each other, reading the individual temperatures to really keep an eye on them. And speaking of cylinder temperatures, this bike has the external oil cooler. We see this very large cylinder here with the heat fins on it. Excellent kit, uh, very, very highly rated. We get great feedback on it and we can see it has the sandwich plate that goes in between the oil filter and the block and then the feed and return oil line. Not only does this keep your oil temperatures in check, especially with hard riding, uh, it also adds oil capacity. So that will also help with the temperatures and keep the oil cleaner for longer having that additional capacity. Very nice ram foam mount here, the X-Grip one, and it's on the adjustable mount here. So if I loosen this up, you can really put it anywhere you want. And if I keep it over to the side, it's mounted on the Ural uh, handlebar clamp accessory mount. So this is all one piece of aluminum and a very, very nice piece, which then you can clamp on, you know, your favorite uh, accessory right onto there. This bike also has the bullet parking brake. I do need two hands to show you how that works, but we have a separate video on that. So that will lock the hydraulic circuit for the front, uh, front brake. Just an additional parking brake, very easy to use. And we'll really you know, keep this thing in place if you've got it in gear with the rear parking brake. And then you push that in. Of course, this bike <laughs> is not going anywhere, no matter where you have it. So now as we move around to the rear of the bike, You'll notice it's almost like a mirror image. We've got a fuel can on each side. So I'm gonna take a moment to explain what we've done here. So of course we have the usual fuel can in the usual place that uh, comes on these machines as standard. And this customer uh, insisted we install one on the other side as well, which took some uh, you know, additional thinking and some modification. So before this was really impossible to use mounted on this side because this securing clamp would swing out and it, it, well, it wouldn't swing out because it was stuck kind of here and we had to reverse it. So what we did, the rivets that mount these brackets for it, we uh, removed those and then flipped this assembly 
and then put new rivets in. So it, it looks totally factory. You would never know it's been modified, but we can see the clamp goes the opposite direction now. So we can use it in that location. Because obviously if we take a look at the normal one, if we took this frame and flipped it to put it on, or rotated it to put it on this side, of course this would be going the other way as I've just explained. So it took a little bit of ingenuity there, but we did that and the uh, customer of course is very happy as we are. And then I will note because the, the foldable shovel usually is mounted here, so that leaves a hole on the side of the sidecar right here. So we've put a nice little plug in there to seal up the hole and just kind of make it look a little nicer. And then of course, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could get a plug in the correct size and have it uh, painted to the uh, Ural's color to be a lot less noticeable. So I will mention that as well. Um, but this is what you know the uh, customer wanted us to do and what he's fine with. So I do want to make a kind of disclaimer that we usually don't recommend to put the fuel canister on this side because of course if there's an impact or something, you know, something hits the bike or what have you, it could damage this. And if it, it does have fuel in it, that could be a potential safety, uh, safety issue. But like I said, customer insisted, um, they, they did want it on the side. So of course we are gonna uh, make that work for them there. But that's just a little, a little disclaimer that we just wanna make mention. This bike also has the uh, LED fender light for the sidecar, adds some, some awesome uh, light output in the side of the road and it adds just an additional kind of marking light on the left side of that bike in addition to the ones already on it. I will make my way back to the front of the bike. This does have the LED uh, light bulb in it. So that throws a lot more light on the road compared to the halogen. And this is in the standard uh, housing as well. If you really wanted to get more fancy, you could do the uh, full glass Hella housing and that will even give you uh, a better beam pattern as well. But as a, as a minimum, that LED bulb in itself makes an awesome difference. Now taking a look under the bike, it has a nice uh, skid plate, a sump guard, protect it when you're uh, off-road forging some trail there. And this bike has been kitted, a big mention here, with the Nitron shocks all around. So that really transforms how the bike handles, how it feels, especially off-road in the rough terrain with the different valving these have, and they're highly adjustable as well. Sorry, let me get a better angle for you here. So really very, very pretty to look at and they provide an insane performance benefit as well. And now one of the last things I'll mention is the forward and reverse hand shifter. So you've got your forward gears here and then your reverse lever right here. And then the two wheel drive lever is of course uh, in the usual spot down there, but no more uh, little heel toe shifter for reverse to kick down on. All you do is pull this up right here and you can see it actuates some very nice levers there. And all that works awesome. And it's a blast to use those forward and reverse uh, shift levers, especially shifting through those forward gears up and down. The forward gears is such a blast with that hand shifter. So that's really all I have for you uh, in this short kind of exciting video on this Klein Blue gear up. We're so excited for the customer to pick it up and start enjoying it. And we, of course, had a good time <laughs> just, just building it and being around these bikes. They are very exciting. And we always have people walking to the showroom, uh, asking questions and just generally being excited as well. So as I mentioned, uh, check out all these accessories on our online store. We can ship them right to your door and make sure to uh, leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest Ural content.